Hey guys, I'm Chef Tom with All Things Barbecue, and today we're gonna to be using some of those Thanksgiving turkey leftovers to make a turkey pot pie. So I'm gonna kick this thing off by dicing up some mirepoix, and that's two parts onion to one part carrot and one part celery. That's gonna be the base of our flavor profile. So first I'm gonna put down a quarter cup of butter. All right, our butter's melted. Let's add in our mirepoix. And then we'll hit this with a little bit of Cattleman's Grilled Tri-Tip Seasoning. Kind of our go-to for all things vegetable. It's great on chicken, it's great on steak, it's great on turkey. And we're gonna let this cook down until it's nice and soft. All right, now our mirepoix's been sweating down for about 10 minutes or so. And while this finishes up, just gonna chop up some of our already cooked turkey. Here we have about a pound of cooked turkey. Uh, if you guys are interested in how to do this, we want you to check out our spatchcock smoked turkey recipe. Uh, we just put that video out. Some really great information on how to make fantastic turkey. All right, now that these are nice and softened up, we wanna add a little bit of flour so we can thicken this up. And we'll give this just a minute to kind of cook some of that raw flour flavor out of there. And now we'll begin adding some vegetable stock. And as this stock comes up to temperature, it's gonna to begin to thicken kind of like a gravy. Now, if you find that this is getting too thick, all you've gotta do is add a little more stock and thin that out just a little bit. But this is looking really good right where it is. So at this point, I'm gonna add our turkey. Mix that around. And the last couple of things we wanna add are some frozen peas and some frozen corn. Before we top this off, I just wanna make sure that everything tastes like it should. Doesn't need any salt, doesn't need any more seasoning. We're ready to get our crust on there. Now we've got a store-bought pie crust here. If you guys wanna make your own at home, that's awesome. But this one fits perfectly over our skillet. We're not gonna need to trim anything. I'm just gonna give this a few scores. We'll kinda let it breathe a little bit. And then I'm gonna hit it with some egg wash. And this egg wash will give us a really nice sheen on top. It'll make it shine a little bit and it will help the color to darken up as well. All right, let's get this thing on the grill. Now, like I said earlier, we're gonna be cooking this pie on charcoal today and we're using the Kamado Joe Classic Joe. Now, this is preheated to about 425 degrees. Place our skillet right here and we're cooking this over indirect heat. Total cooking time for our pot pie today was about 45 minutes, which is the beautiful thing about doing a single crust pot pie. Now, if you wanted to do another crust on the bottom, just wanna extend that cooking time a little bit, maybe lower the temperature so that nothing burns. But you're still gonna end up with really fantastic flavor, beautiful flaky crust, and this is a fantastic way to get a leftover meal out in about an hour's time. Oh, I love the creaminess. And there's a subtle sweetness coming from the corn and from the carrots, but it's still savory and smoky from the turkey. You guys give this one a shot. Let us know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to thesauce.atbbq.com. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.